Hello, um, it is February the 20th, Wednesday the 20th of February and this is my first update of the month on Eternal Promise. Now, normally this would be, would have been off the rotation for a week, um, but as I mentioned in my January video I wasn't feeling very well and by by the 4th of February so I had three days two days on this um but after the first three days I was really sick and I didn't do any stitching really to talk of I think I did a little bit on a new start, which I'll show you <clears throat> in a, uh, in another update once I've spent another day on it. Um, but I didn't stitch for over a week. And when I did start stitching, I was doing a um, Michael Powell piece that I've started. My hand was shaking so much and I almost thought that I'd forgotten how to stitch. Um, so I had a really bad chest infection and was on lots of tablets for that. I felt rotten and I last thing I wanted to do was to pick up a needle and stitch which is just a sign of how ill I was because normally nothing stops me. So this hasn't had so many days. I have finished the page. And so my page, this page here, page 33, <coughs> was the gold page for February anyway. I had already started it in January because I had those extra days, which is really lucky because I've only been, so far this month, I've spent eight evenings stitching this, which... <coughs> Which is good going seeing as I've gotten onto page 34. So this page and this page are my March pages. Um, for the normal one page a month. Except when I get to the end of the row. So yes, I'm nearly at the end of another row. Um, so, I mean, this is how, diff how weird this pattern is. So on the clothes, all the colours, everything wants to work down. Everything just comes down, comes down so quickly. On the background part, everything wants to go across. And this is why I always try and listen to where the sewing wants to take me. If I try to work down and it wants to go across, it just makes it so difficult to stitch. So... I listen to where the colour wants to go and go follow the colour. Uh, in this case, yep, we're going across. We're getting some of this dappling. So much confetti with these bits. Um, this is fairly straightforward. Really easy. Clothes, simple, almost boring. Background, oh dear. How many shades of grey, green can you have? <clears throat> Quite a lot. So, while I have been convalescing, <laughs> been back at work, but in the evenings I can't do much, I can't breathe properly still. Um, so <laughs> we're just going across, we're just working down. Um, so I've got a nice start on March. Obviously because I've lost a lot of time, the rotations had to change. So working on priorities which is, I prefer full coverage. Full coverage is my thing. I like it. I like that a sewing a project can take me years to do. Because for me, the least favourite bit is getting everything together to start and putting everything away when it's finished. So the longer a project takes me, the bigger the gap between those things. It's brilliant. So, where was I? 
I should be on trick or treat right now normally because I would have had two weeks on this I would be nearly nearing the end of trick or treat and then going on to moon sweet moon moon sweet moon is being bumped from the rotation in February because I would rather work on trick or treat um <coughs> sorry still got a cough I want to get so I've got my 2,400 stitches done for the Full Coverage Fanatics on this one. I've also been stitching on this one because the monthly theme for Full Coverage Fanatics is fantasy and this is Lord of the Rings themed. <clears throat> so it fits perfectly. And... Um, I want to do 1,200 stitches for the Full Coverage Fanatics on Trick or Treat, which should see me finish page 2 and continue on with page 3. So I have about a week to do that in, which I would have had a week to work on Trick or Treat anyway. So things are getting shifted. Moon Sweet Moon dropping off the end of the rotation this month because there's no space for it. I have started my new Friday project because I finished the meadow last month. So finish, one one finish, one new start. Um, I'll show that in an update. I'm also doing um, one of the garden, well, I was supposed to be doing one of the garden club series this month as well. Again, I've only spent one one lunch time on that this month and but weekend come in I'm gonna get back into doing that and doing a little bit more death by cross stitch so there'll be more updates for the end of the month it's just a big gap in the middle <laughs> so I am I am on the mend now um sewing's probably quite, not quite up to the speed or I don't quite have the concentration that I did have I was warned that I would be exhausted after the chest infection cleared it still hasn't gone fully but I am at least able to do something I get so bored, I'm terrible Um, I wasn't actually feeling bored which is just a sign of how unwell I was feeling. But it was so good on Saturday to just say, right, I'm moving off of the sofa, I'm going into my sewing corner, and I am going to sew. And I got all this page finished over the weekend, like Saturday and Sunday. Um, there's a good half a page to do, and it was just so nice to just sit there and sew. So I've got my start on March, <coughs> obviously March is a full 31 days so I have the three spare days as well if I need to finish those off. I may use those spare days on Moon Sweet Moon, possibly get a few days on, a few days extra on that. So there we are for now, this is Eternal Promise, 1 over 1, full crosses, on 25 count magic guide, and we're into the forest floor, all those colours, so many colours. So I'll see you in a bit with another update which will be trick or treat. I'll make you some weekend ones in between that because trick or treat carry on into next week. We'll have a we'll see what we get to at the weekend. I'll do some nice stuff at the weekend. I might even try and do a stitch with me. So, see you soon. Bye bye. It's Sunday the twenty fourth of February. So the last weekend in February, so I thought I'd update on where I am with Death by Cross Stitch. I've uh, been working on this page this month, I can't remember where I'd got to before, possibly bringing this bit over. So, 
obviously I've missed a couple of weekends on this as well but um, I've done two mornings this weekend to make up for it so it's kind of chopped off and you've got some threads here because um, I, I need to scroll it on this frame quite a lot because um, this bit is not at the moment but before it was too close to the bottom it's because I've got the longer arms on it it's too close to the bottom to work on comfortably and so I have this bit rolled up so I've done that section on the page 7 and rolled it down to do this bit and then while it was rolled down I went over to this side and filled in the bottom half of the griffin this border which is the edge of the page after that is the alphabet page and started bringing this up so I've got some threads where I was reaching a certain point and and parking because it was a stretch to reach the top well wouldn't have fitted it all in so I fold it this this part way through this morning filled in this bit because it's on the page that I'm doing now but I th I thought it was a bit easy to miss it didn't take long to fill in that just that centre bit um, so I've been tidying up some of the threads that I'd left on the griffin I'll leave these here um, I'm going to do when I do some more next week I'm going to get more of the griffin done although it's nice to switch between these two bits because this is pretty solid stitch and you can see here the mirror image so this is what I've got to do um, the border kind of changes well doesn't have all the in and out bits when it gets to the flay well whatever he's breathing out of his mouth um, so that changes there and I'm going to have to adjust it to get past the N so hopefully that will look okay so I reckon I might be able to get the page finished next month obviously it depends what's going on next month because hopefully the work on the house will start soon but then that will mean that I might not be able to get to certain sewing spots while that's ongoing. And things are just going to have to get put away because it's just, it will just be dusty. So, <coughs> sorry. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that. It would be nice to get the page finished in March. I would like to. I'm going to try my hardest to. Um, and that's it on that and I'll show you some other bits when I get down to my other sewing stop spot so see you in a bit hello again it's still Sunday the 24th and just uh, a couple more updates so I've been working on climbing the trellis from Blackbird Designs I've started the last row of four um, four charts that are going on this piece. It's the Garden Club series from a couple of years ago. I stitch, I'm stitching them all on one piece of fabric, which is 36 count uh, linen from Barbara Al Creations on Etsy. And the colour is Early American. So this block is one of the ones that's made up of two pieces. So I'm working on the first one. Obviously I worked on it the first weekend of the month and now the last weekend of the month. And nothing on it in between. So this is where I've finished. I've got another flower to go in there but it's a lighter lighter colour, it's the lightest colour that's in this bit and then the vase at the bottom and then the flower next to it so I'll carry on working on this in March and get that finished hopefully 
So, I just work on this an hour at the weekends. These small ones, you can usually get a bit done. So, the other thing I did this month was I started... Oh, it's not unpacking, it's still got a bit of glare on it. Uh, started this from Michael Powell. It is Pine Tree Cottage. It's this one here. I also have um, Fir Tree Cottage as well. Picked it up at the knit Knitting and Stitching show last year. So it's quite a small kit. Um, oops. And Q Snap here has the whole thing in it. So it's quite small. So the pattern's divided into quarters, zoom in a little bit. So I'm working on the first quarter. Uh, so we have a bit of a window and the building and roof and part of the background. Now the sky is done in half stitch. And the colours the, and the symbols are the same as the colours in the house which is done full cross stitch so I have to pay attention to it to make sure that I'm stitching half a cross stitch where I'm meant to be doing half a cross stitch and a full cross stitch where I'm meant to be doing a full cross stitch so it's not too bad um, this bit here will be the start of where the sky is but obviously you've got the roof coming into it as well so I started this actually on the Saturday the 2nd and then I did a tiny tiny bit while I wasn't feeling well just sat on the sofa but I could my hands were shaking so much I could barely hold the needle it was weird so I haven't got a lot done on it so get some more done on it next week uh, next month working on it on Fridays this week I work on trick or treat because I just wanted to get some more of that done. So that's where we are for now. Um, I've got a page finish on trick or treat, but I'll show you that when I do my my last update for that at the end of the month. So I'll be back in a few days. Bye bye. Hello everyone. It's actually Saturday the 2nd of March today, but this is where I got up to at the end of February, so 28th of Feb, was the last time I stitched on this. So this is Trick or Treat, uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, artist Randall Spangler. It's a haunted house, so you've got bats in here, another one there. So, what I did this month was I finished off this page, there's a bit down here, and I went up and carried on with page three. So, there is, oops, going the other way, there is so much confetti in this, it's, it's amazing. Anybody that's watched my Stitch With Me video on this, We'll see that I spent the first half of it pretty much just start a thread, end a thread, start a thread, end a thread. And it it's because it, there are so many single stitches scattered around and they don't go anywhere else nearby. <clears throat> this is a um, 28 count, easy count. Yeah, 28 count easy count from Zweigart. And it's the Brittany Lugana fabric. So it's a bit it's a bit stretchier, a bit bouncier. Uh, but the holes are still a good size for seeing where you are. Uh, but when I, when I stitch and when I'm hopping around, I don't really go any more than... 10 squares so I probably could have dragged my thread along the back a lot more but I don't like to do that so let's go out again so that's where I got to I think as I get down I think there's fewer fewer leaves on this page 
even less on the neck you can already see that there's not a lot there I get to start the roof of the turret of the house on the next page but this is going away again till it's next out in the rotation <coughs> it's one of three that I switch out on on a monthly basis so this one will come out again in May um, I don't know if I'll be able to get the page finished then be nice but it's just so much work in this so that's it that's February done and dusted we're on to March now so we'll quickly go through plans plans um, I want to finish the row of pages on Eternal Promise which means stitching the current page and the tiny end of row page I say tiny end of row page, it's only 25 stitches across so it's quite small uh, it's also border so it's a small confetti um, so I'm going to do that and once I'll spend two weeks on that. Uh, there's 31 days in March, so I've got three spare days. Um, one of those is a Friday, though, so I'll be working on Pine Tree Cottage on Fridays. On Saturday and Sunday mornings will be Death by Cross Stitch. I'm looking to get page six finished and get onto page five, which is the alphabet page. Uh, what else have we got? I'm continuing with Climbing the Trellis as my one hour project. I'm about to do that in a second. And then, oh, what have we got? After Eternal Promise is a little light reading, which was my Christmas Day start. So that hasn't been out since December. So that's coming out. I'm going to get page one finished on that. And make a start on page two the entire top row of pages is the sheet that he's holding up with his tail so that might be um that's going to be a bit boring so i'm kind of just trying to decide whether i'm just going to go across like i normally do or do a page and then do the page next to it and then do the page underneath and kind of do the diagonal pages um not stitching diagonally just what page I choose next I don't know yet I think even if I do that I'm going to have three pages of background but I'll get onto the dragon quicker so actually it'll be four pages of background because I go into the top uh, in which case I'm nearly across so I might go across we'll see I don't have to worry about that for ages yet anyway uh so a little light reading and then after that i'm going to get moon sweet moon out for the last seven days of the month and she is totally missing from this month's rotation because something had to give what with being ill and missing all stitching for nearly two weeks that's really not me back but I still managed to get all my goals on my full coverage pieces done. So that's it for me. Um, oh, thing about trick or treat. There seems to be quite a few people stitching it. And um, in full coverage fanatics, one of the admins, Kim Hollenbach, she's um, started her own floss tube channel. So you can see hers, she's just stitching the black at the moment and she started at the bottom. Um, so for a different perspective on it, pop along to her videos and take a look. And she does lots of other lovely sewings. So, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for spending time with me. Uh, for all your well wishes last time when... I've probably sounded really terrible with my chest and thanks for your likes and subscribes and comments oh also if you like my um the stitch with me videos tune in to stitching grandpa he does he's working on 
Heaven and Earth Designs, stitch with, doing lots of stitch with me's, and he's stitching diagonally. And I, he kind of watches mine and stitches with me, and I watch his and stitch with him. Uh, he's been beating me because I've been working on this, so it takes me a lot longer to get my stitches done. So <laughs> he stitches faster than I do when I'm working on this. I'll catch him up on something though. So with that, goodbye, and I'll see you again next month, maybe a stitch with me or two in between. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>